Hello guys! Today is the last lesson from the Telephone Problems playlists, and it's about the situation when people call the wrong number. How to deal with such calls? Let's find out. It sometimes happens that people just forget to change their contact information when moving out, or they can press the wrong digits when dialing a number, and as a result they can reach you by mistake. If someone called you by mistake, you can say one of these phrases. Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. You've got the wrong number. You've got the wrong number. You must have the wrong number. You must have the wrong number. You must have dialed the wrong number. You must have dialed the wrong number. There is no one here by that name. There is no one here by that name. There is no one called John here. There is no one called John here. There is no one of that name here. There is no one of that name here. Nobody by that name works here. Nobody by that name lives here. Nobody by that name works here, lives here. No, this isn't the number you want. No, this isn't the number you want. Who did you say you wanted to speak to? Who did you say you wanted to speak to? What number are you calling? What number are you calling? Sorry, the number is changed. Sorry, the number is changed. I think you should check the directory assistance. I think you should check the directory inquiries. I think you should check the directory assistance, directory inquiries. On the other hand, from time to time you can reach the wrong number because of similar reasons. Like you can dial the wrong digits, or you can be given the wrong number by someone, or people can move out. If you call someone and on the other side of the phone there isn't a person you wanted to speak to, you can say something like this. I'm sorry, I must have the wrong number. I'm sorry, I must have the wrong number. I must have got the wrong extension. I must have got the wrong extension. I seem to have the wrong number. I seem to have the wrong number. Sorry to have bothered you. Sorry to have troubled you. Sorry to have bothered you. Troubled you. Oh, isn't that medicine clinic? So sorry. 
Oh, isn't that Madison Clinic? So sorry. Could I check the number? Isn't it 5629761? Could I check the number? Isn't it 5629761? I must have dialed the wrong number. I must have dialed the wrong number. I'm so sorry, but this is the number I was given. I'm so sorry, but this is the number I was given. And one more thing for today. There can be times when you can receive some really annoying calls, the ones you would prefer not to be disturbed by at all, like the calls from telemarketers, poll takers, solicitors for donations, scam artists or some other bored people who have nothing else to do. If by accident you get one of these calls, just say, I'm sorry, but I'm not interested. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested. Please remove my number from your records. Please remove my number from your records. Don't call this number again. Don't call this number again. So now you know how to deal with the calls to the wrong number. They can make you feel a little bit confused or even embarrassed. But don't be. It happens with all of us. It's not a big deal. All you need to do is to learn a couple of today's phrases that appeal to you and make some example dialogues to train yourself for different situations. Don't forget to learn my other lessons from the English for Telephone playlist. The link is here in the upper right corner of the screen. In my next video lessons, I will teach you how to start and finish phone conversations, how to make a reservation or complain about something, how to take and leave a message, and some other things. Subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss the lessons. Thank you very much for being with me today, and I will see you in my lessons. Take care.